Hello there. I'm just going to um, try to show you how to set up a fresh pairing for the BBC Microbit. Um, so first thing you do is go to the BBC Microbit website and um, flash the Microbit with a, a fresh script uh, from either a visual editor or um, the um, touch develop. Um, so I've chosen the, the blue to tooth demo, as you can see here. Uh, I open it up um, and you can see the code. I'm not going to go into the code. That's not the purpose of this, this video or this clip. It's to do a fresh pairing with the uh, Bluetooth pairing with the microbit. So yeah, you uh, um, download it and uh, find it in the downloads folder and drag it onto your microbit. And then you'll uh, find it copying over there, like so. And that's going to take a few seconds. Then the microbit will uh, eject itself and then come back again um, on your desktop there. Eject it. Press the eject button or the eject triangle on the uh, Mac there. This is a Mac uh, operating system. Um, and then we're going to go on to uh, the iPad uh, section here, where I'm going to try to pair it, uh, pair the iPad with the micro bit. And this is after having done a, uh, a fresh flash of a block code uh, from uh, the online BBC micro bit editor. Um, now what you can do is, um, if you go into the Bluetooth settings, and what you can do is, if there is a previous uh, Bluetooth pairing there with a the micro bit, delete that. And the reason for that is we want to start fresh. So I've opened the uh, BBC micro bit iOS app here, as you can see. Um, and I follow the instructions uh, to pair the micro bit um, using a slightly larger battery pack here. Not officially recommended, but okay, it works. And uh, I'm going to follow the instructions. So hold the A and B button and press and release the reset button on the back. That's exactly what I've done. And as you can see now, I get the pairing uh, mode uh, activated. Press next, and you should now see a pattern on the micro bit. Uh, I just fill the whole frame first and then try to match the pattern by taking off rather than uh, uh, adding them up, if that makes sense. So when you see the pattern mix, uh, match, sorry, then you click on next and uh, press next again. It's uh, now searching for the micro bit, it's pairing. Um, then you will be presented with a six digit code and um, you dial that code into your iPad uh, or whatever device you are using. I also tried this on iPhone, it works absolutely fine. Press next and do a quick reset again on the back of the micro bit and uh, we're good to go really. Um, so what we're going to do now is try to just flash a, uh, a sample code. I uh, said I'm not going to go into the making of the code here on this uh, this little clip. It's, it's mainly to do with the pairing and downloading a file um, that um, I, I want to demonstrate that is via Bluetooth. So I find the code. Uh, as you can see, it takes you to the uh, online editor via Safari uh, when you click on the create code. And uh, we're just going to search for a um, sad face, happy face thing, a very simple code. Um, when I find what I'm happy with or want to edit or want to flash straight as it is, I uh, click on the uh, sample, go to edit or load scripts, and press on the, the download uh, or flash device uh, icon there. 
that will then bring up a new warning message and then it will ask you do you want to open this in micro bit yes we do and uh, then you can see the description of the code press flash and here we go now you see the lights coming off the micro bit which means uh, the code or the flashing of the code the sending of the code via bluetooth has started hopefully and in this case we can see it's uh, it's working on it it's sending it we've got a, a cute little animation there with a, a micro bit head uh flashing uh, sort of, uh, going from side to side you know it's quite cute whether it does anything is a different matter um yeah on the micro bit there is no indication that there is a transfer uh going on so but don't press any buttons whilst it is sending the code do not press any buttons and uh when this is done um the code should uh, hopefully be um loaded onto the device and uh, we are getting a confirmation message that yes flashing was successful indeed and um, we can now test the code if you want so uh, let's give it a shake and see if uh, it's doing what it's not quite as sensitive as I would have. oops yeah here we go we are getting a happy face um, doing quite sort of rigorous uh, shaking here but uh, yeah it, it 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 did work the first time. oh it works well, the second time as well so there right okay yeah it's working and the pairing has uh, hopefully been demonstrated here and i hope you can make use of that thank you for watching